Hello? First day, and we are back with a new job. Let's check first the history of this laptop. Yeah, this is a nice Packer Bell. A little bit dirty. It's a Packer Bell Easy Note TJ74. Okay? It's a nice AMD Vision 3 core processor and uh, who knows what graphic is. But you know what is interesting? We have a history based on the receipt. So the first receipt is from April 2013. 2013, yeah, it's like nearly seven years ago. Windows job, yeah? After that, we have a receipt with a motherboard fault, 2016, 2016 October. And now he come back with another fault. We don't know what fault is. It was booked in for no power. But it looks like it is. it has power, so that the charger is plugged in. We have the charging LED on. If we press the power, press the power, the power uh, LED is coming on. And it's staying on, but it's no picture on the screen. So it's like no backlight and no picture. Which most likely it's a motherboard job. So you see, we can uh, we can see the history along the seven years, nearly seven years. So probably this laptop is like eight years old and it still, you know, was working till now. It's impressive because most of the laptops on these days they are like two years and it's gone. So let's open and check this one. Let's see what can be wrong here. These laptops from that age are nice, you know. So if you take a, a laptop like seven, eight years old, a dual core one, yeah, a dual core one, it will be more faster compared compared with many laptops like what you can buy now. With I don't know the cheapest, the cheapest one. I don't know, 150, 200, 300 pounds. They are all the I don't know. The processor is very slow. So let's see what can be on this one. I'm just curious. We should try to reset the BIOS first. We can. For RAM memory? Yeah, let's check the RAM memory. Maybe it's RAM memory, yeah. Can be. Okay. It's no BIOS battery here. We have the RAM memory. You know, let's try, let's try and check the, check like that, yeah? Just swap one uh, RAM memory and I'll try to power up. Let's see what happens. Because, yeah, this fault looks like it can be a RAM fault. Not necessarily something wrong with the motherboard, but can be something wrong with the RAM memory. It's on. You can see the blue light here, yeah. But still no picture on the screen. Still nothing. It's no picture and no backlight. Yeah. So let's open because obviously it's not a RAM problem. I don't know, that time the laptop was more solid, you know, more, you know, it looks like a laptop, not like a tablet. But if you open like on these days, like a cheap laptop, you see a board, a tablet board inside and that's the, that's the laptop. 
and actually slow like Probably, I, probably the manufacturer go go greed and they try to make more money. And actually, they don't care about the quality of the the product. Because otherwise, I can't explain why you will use a cheap processor or a slow one. All screws are out. Looks like, yeah, good. Let's take out the keyboard. Or we have this to take out this one. Hmm? I think this one. So it's easy to be open. There's the keyboard. You're probably the owner of this laptop has a cat because it's a lot of cat hair here. Okay, what about now? We have to take all, all these cables to take out. Yeah. I got my words back. It's not really easy to be open. So on this one, the screen has to be removed first. So you have to take out the screen first. There's the screen cable. That's the microphone cable. But look on this one. This one has two Wi-Fi antenna. On on today laptops, it's only one. <laughs> you know. They figured out, oh, it will work only with one. I know it will work with only one. But no more uh, no more antenna balance, you know? Because on the two wires, the uh, is balancing. Depends where the, where the signal is strong. This one or this one. But they think, you know what? Yeah, let's use only one and the same thing. So what we have here, the power button, the Wi-Fi cables, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I have too high expectation, but when you think, okay, the progress, so we are getting better on each year, but actually not. We are uh, just learn to do things more cheap, more uh, doesn't matter. The quality is not very important right now. More important is the product to be cheap, so the people will buy. It's kind of sad. Okay, let's try and take out the the cover. Okay, the cover is out. We don't need this. Let's leave this on one side. So you have a nice motherboard. We can plug the motherboard. We can plug the, the, the power in. We can power up. We have the power button wires are here. You remember power button is one side here? Yeah, these are the wires. The fan is spinning. Okay. Well, let's check the voltage. Yeah, it's not even point to check the voltage. You see here this area. Like a brownish color. 
let's say a lot what was the problem three years ago 2016 yeah well you know three years for a graphic issue wow you see that's what I told you try and do it try and uh, reheat the, the the graphic chip you can come back tomorrow back or like on this one three years three years with a graphic issue that's impressive yeah so let's power up again we have the screen plugged in Still nothing, still no picture. Let's try to do some magic. Okay. Let's do some magic. So all what we done three years ago, we just reheat the graphic chip. Which is it's quite in, it's kind of easy it's nothing more what you can do. So hopefully the free, uh, he will work again for years. Yeah, hopefully. But obviously the laptop is dying, but we see it's normal. You know, this laptop is like eight years old laptop. It's normal. So let's try some magic here on the back is gra is the graphic chip. You can see the heatsink uh, screws. I know it's dodgy, I know, I know. You you told me so many times when I done this kind of job, but it's no other way. So I understand your point. But what can I do? Reball a faulty chip because actually the problem is the chip itself. So I just use five hundred degrees full air, just applying some heat on the back of the of the chip. But I see in the board, the board it, it, it's bending, and that's the point when you have to stop. A few seconds should be fine. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, the heat sink is hot, doesn't mean the heat sink is good. So let's try now. Plug the charger. Power on. Huh? <laughs> what did I told you? What did I told you? So you see, it's not much what I can do. I can clean the fan. I can replace the thermal paste. So the, the laptop will survive more. But what do you expect? I fixed this. I done same job three years ago. So this laptop worth here three years with this. Uh... Let me check. Uh, no, it's not. What you can do more if you have. What you can do more. You can also use some thermal pads. If you have this kind of thermal pads, yeah, you can use one on the back of the chip so you can spread the heat. So keeping the the chip on uh, lower temperature really it it will uh, make the life longer. But yeah, if you look from uh, from one side, this is a dodgy repair. But again, it's no other way. It's not worth. It's it's you'll not find the chip. And if you reboil the chip, will come back. And on any case, it will be too expensive this to be repaired. But we do what we can. So the laptop is fine. Obviously, the hard drive is not plugged in, but it's okay. I will not give warranty for this repair. I will charge a little. But that's how you fix this kind of fault. When actually uh, you have a graphic chip there. A dedicated graphic chip. Always it happen on a dedicated graphic chip. Especially on these old laptops. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.